In this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to create a feathered selection in Photoshop. Feathering is useful for blending two objects together, for creating a more ghost-like appearance, for making something look like it's sort of evolving out of the picture, not so much as it's been cut out by a pair of scissors or something. So just a nice soft edge. So to start here, I have two um, images that I'm going to feather. I'm going to do this twice so that you can we can go over the the steps twice and you can see how this works. The first image I have here is a picture of a fashion model from the 1950s. And I'm going to use a lasso selection tool and just simply um, roughly cut her out of here. I'm not worried about so much uh, precision as I am just sort of softly cutting her out. So I'm going to now move that over to my picture plane. And I think that I'm going to transform that up a little bigger. And since we're feathering a selection, we have to put a selection around the object. So to do that, if you hold down Command on the Mac and click the layer icon, that will put the selection around the image that you would like to feather. So I am now going to go up to Select, Modify, Feather. And when I do that, it brings up a dialog box and it defaults to the last number I had in there. And I'm going to start here with 75 pixels. It, it's sort of unclear as to how this works for every image and, and there's no real way to guess how it works. So it's just good to start with a, a sort of a, a mid-range number and work our way forward or backwards depending on the effect that we want. So I'm going to say OK. And when I say OK, you can see that the selection around the image sort of softened up and it's not on the actual edge anymore. And I know from experience that I would like this actually to be a little bit more feathered. So I'm going to edit, undo feather. I'm going to select, select modify, feather. And I'm going to try 125 pixels and say OK. And now you see how soft the selection is around the image. Now, Backspace or delete will create the feathering, but if I go ahead and just hit it now, watch what happens. It actually takes away what's on the inside of the selection. So that's not what I want. What I actually want is to take away from the outside of the selection, so I need to invert the selection. So I go up to select, choose inverse, and that's that chooses everything on the outside of the selection which would also encompass the edge of the image that I'm trying to feather. So now when I hit delete, you can see it softened that edge. And if it's not soft enough for you, you can hit delete again until it softens down more. And it all has to do with your eye and what it is you're trying to achieve. And I'm just going to keep hitting select until, or pardon me, hit delete until it becomes as soft as I want it. Now, if you go too far, you can always go back into your history and backtrack a little ways or go up to edit and undo. But um, right here is where I would like it. So I'm going to go ahead and select, deselect. And now I have a nice soft edge and a nice, and it really feathered into the image along that edge on this selection. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to combine two selections together. And so I'm going to take the Eiffel Tower image here and I'm going to drag that onto my picture plane and I'm going to scale that up. Or transform it up is probably the, the better, you'd work, uh, better word to use. And when I transform something, I have to hit enter or return to set the transformation. So now I would like to put a selection around this because I would like to feather this as well. So again, Command on the Mac, click the layer icon, and you see it throws a selection around there. So in review, we are going to go to Select, Modify, Feather, and it will bring up the last feather radius that I used, which was 125. And actually, why don't I just go with this because it seemed to work well with the other piece, so we'll try it and see if it works. So I'm going to enter that and it throws a really nice soft 
oval shape selection around here now. So now I have to invert the selection because I do not want to remove the interior of the image. So I'm going to go to select inverse and now I'm going to hit delete and I'm going to feather away that edge until my eye tells me that I'm done. And I want a real soft image going on here. So I actually would like to layer the Eiffel Tower underneath the image of the fashion model. So two ways to do that. I am going to go up to layer, go down to arrange, and I'm going to send that layer back, meaning that it will go behind the girl now, and I can move it to the position I want, like so, and then I can take her and I can scale her to where I want her, and I actually would like for her to sit over the Eiffel Tower a little bit, but I would like for her to be a little less opaque. Opaque is not being able to see through something. So if I reduce the opacity, that means it gives me more opportunity to look through her. So what I'm going to do, there's a couple ways to do this as well, is I'm going to obviously go to the layer that I'm trying to reduce the opacity, which is the layer of the fashion model. And if you go up to where the word opacity sits in the layers palette and you um, hover over the word, it brings up a little hand with an arrow. And if you just move the little hand over top of the word opacity, it will change the opacity. So you can do it that way. You can click the arrow on next to the percentage and it brings up a slider. You can do it that way. And you can also type in a number. I have no idea what number it is that I'm looking for because I'm doing this all by eye. I want to see. So I'm just going to slide it until I get it to the point where I think that I like it. And that looks like it right there. So now I'm going to actually select both of these images and sort of center it on the page. And now you see that we have, and I'll actually just go ahead and type the word feather on here. And there you have it. We've feathered the selection. We've reduced the opacity slightly between the two selections so that we can sort of see this ghost-like quality through it. And that's our tutorial for today.